What's up guys, welcome to another exciting video on Trading Kennel. We are excited to announce that we just released the version 1.2.2 of the Akani Trading System. As this is a much anticipated version, actually comes with a new strategy and lots of other exciting features that we're going to be talking about. Alright, so let's get started. The first major thing we did here in this strategy was to actually reduce the stop loss level of EVE. Okay, I know a lot of people have complained about that if stop loss how it um, usually hits it and you know it loses a lot of money so you actually reduce the stop loss of eve to um a risk to reward of one is to one okay so risk to reward ratio of the eve strategy is now one is to one okay and this is actually the same for the other strategy which is the akani strategy and the new strategy which is the support and resistance breaker strategy all right so they are all one is to one all right the risk to reward all right which is very weird but that's how it is on the akani trading system version 1.2.2 all right so the next thing we're going to do here is to look at our back test results and uh, the reason why i'm showing you guys this back test results it's also uploaded out to on trading kennel is so that when you guys are doing your back test okay you can actually compare this results here with your broker all right if you can actually see this on my screen right now that's fine once you download the version 1.2.2 on training kennel you're going to get the report all right so you can just open it on your browser and compare it when you're back testing with your broker to ensure that the data um the data might not necessarily be the same okay but it shouldn't vary too much all right so you can see this is the back test result of the Akani trading system version 1.2.2 from 2021 first of first till date all right this is the back test on the 15 minutes time frame all right spread to two okay so um looking at this back test here if you guys don't know how to back test all you just need to do is to load up click on this um section here to load up your back test um panel all right once you do that make sure that you have actually dragged um you've actually dragged your screen backwards okay up to 2021 Okay, you can do that by disabling these two buttons here, all right? Then you drag your screen backwards up to 2021, all right? And then you can you can close your terminal, reopen it, and then you load your back test, all right? So let's look at our expert properties, guys. Okay, nothing actually changed here. We just have a selected risk here, which is currently set as default to 1.0, okay? The higher the uh, entered risks, the higher the returns, but the higher the drawdown as well okay but um the lower the risk to lower the returns and lower the drawdowns okay uh, can you actually use this two percent on buy and four percent on sell eve actually uses three percent on buy and three percent on sell why the support and resistance strategy uses one percent on buy and one percent on sell all right so the entire risk here is actually the selected risk all right you can also enable equity lock here okay you can en enable equity lock the maximum profit target is your maximum profit target that you actually want to reach okay let's say you have a defined goal probably an ftm or something and you want your profit target to once it reaches that amount you want to stop trading all right that's your maximum profit target your maximum risk target is actually your maximum risk that you can take on your account okay before avoiding before i'm um, quitting auto trading all right so that's that's basically two and they actually they actually work like um default um fail safes all right they actually work like default fail safes which is very essential if you're trading with forex robots okay and we've taken out every other setting here okay you can see that none of these settings here actually directly affects the trading performance okay it actually maybe increases the result or uses the result but it doesn't really directly affects the trading performance okay we're actually taking out the rest of the settings because we believe that whatever profits we make on our end we want it to be generalized okay we want our trading performance to be generalized across everyone right so that's why we've taken out the risk we've taken out uh, we've taken out the entire settings all right so that's that's for the expert properties there's nothing much there looking at our graph here we generated we started we started with about um we started with about let's go to our inputs here to see we started with about two thousand three hundred dollars right and um we ended up with about um forty four thousand dollars that's about eighteen thousand percent okay so you can see how the graph looks here and that uh, this robot actually comes with auto lot sizing that is why you can see the volume increase all right as the profit increase increases 
the volume increases as well okay so looking at our reports here you can see we started with the uh, initial deposit of two thousand three hundred dollars uh total net profit is about forty two thousand dollars all right the previous version 1.2.1 was I think around $38,000, right? But this is about $40,000 now. We have an uh, absolute drawdown of about 17%, okay? Which is actually lower than the uh, previous one of 25%, okay? So you can see our short positions here, 59%, and our profit uh, long positions with about 63%, okay? So we have better long positions than short positions on average, okay? So you can now see our... Um, uh maximum loss you can see about 169 and 160 okay which is almost the same okay it's no longer um it no longer has a huge gap like it did previously in the version 1.2.1 1. all right so you can see here currently here you can see on this graph currently we are in a slight drawdown here okay and you can also see that on my fx book here as well okay that's why um you guys shouldn't really judge from just the current my fx book Okay, you can see this drawdown here is actually the same with this one here, all right? But if you look at this now, you're going to feel like, oh my God, this is, this is actually a huge drawdown, okay? But when you're looking at the overall strategy here, you can actually see that this is just a little drawdown, okay? I think we've had even larger, slightly larger drawdowns here, okay? So should you be worried about this um, drawdown here? No, you shouldn't, okay? As long as you've upgraded to this new strategy, all right, you shouldn't be worried about that drawdown, all right. Despite the fact that the market has been rough this couple of days, you can actually see that this um this trading bot actually performs very well. Okay, so um that's that for the um the backtest performance, and actually not going to be releasing any major new version until December. Okay, this is because. We actually want our back test to align with our myfx book as well okay because um when you're back testing a strategy and you're optimizing the strategy you can actually change some settings that will change the trading performance all right but you can't actually change your results here on myfx book okay you can't change that all right so we're going to leave this strategy currently till december okay we're not going to make any major upgrades until december because we'll see how these robots will perform okay until december right if there is any other update i'm going to let you guys know but for now we are not releasing any major version until december all right so that being said let's look at the the visual mood here i just want a quick uh, visual mood for you guys to see okay so um you can see this is um you can see this is um the let's look at this this is the this is the Eve strategy. Okay, it says one, two, three, four. He has the magic number. So that's the Eve strategy. Okay, you can see this he take profits. This one was, I think, um, the Akani strategy. Okay, like we said previously, Akani strategy tends to buy at tops and bottoms, right? Signaling a reversal in the trend, while the Eve strategy tends to trade in the direction of the market. Okay. But the support and resistance breaker strategy actually acts like a support and resistance breaker, okay? The strategy actually targets when the price is coming closer to a support, okay? And it uses that support to mark as a level for entry, okay? It doesn't trade the opposite. It actually uses that support to mark as a, as a price for entry, okay? And it enters the market then and takes profits, all right? So... I don't know if I can actually see some an example here to show you guys. Okay, you can see this one here. This one actually ended. This one actually ended in profit. You can see here. This is a buy. This is a buy nine 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 nine. Okay, this is a buy, and you can see the reversal here. Take profits. Okay, and um, looking at this one. Okay, this was Eve. All right. This was actually 9992. Although this one kind of hits the stop loss here. Okay. This one kind of hit the stop loss. So that's basically how the strategy works. You can see on visual mode here. We ran this um, visual mode from January to date. Okay. So this is the actual um, visual mode from January to date. Okay. So basically we started with $2,300. If we started with that around January, you'd have about $5,261 now. 
okay that's that's definitely more than a hundred percent all right so um to buy this robot this robot is currently available on trading kennel you can see the Akani version 1.2.2 um you can see the reviews here once you just visit this platform i'll be dropping the link in the description below all right so once you download it once you uh, make the payments you're going to get you can make payments via paypal and also crypto as well all right so once you make the payments you download instantly and then make sure that you back test all right for us if you look here we're actually using the alpari trade broker all right if you're using the alpari international broker always back test too all right because even when using the alpari international broker if you're using a standard account and an ecn account your results are going to be different okay we are currently using an ecn account here okay and a cheat code actually is that when using an ecn account your profits are higher okay on back test when compared to using a standard account okay i don't know why this is but that's how it is all right so um we are using our pari trade here if you're using our pari trade as your broker you can always make sure to back test and make sure you get the exact same data on our strategy reports as we did all right but if you're using another broker there will definitely be a variation of your data but make sure that it doesn't um differ too much all right for example looking at our back test here we had a, a return of about forty two thousand dollars all right so if you back tested with your broker and you had a return of less than thirty five thousand you shouldn't be using that broker right you change the broker and, and get a new broker all right also for the drawdown here if you had a drawdown above 20 percent using your broker okay on back test always make sure to not use that broker all right change the broker there are so many brokers out there all right so i'm not going to say it works on every broker no forex robot works perfectly on every broker all right because there are, there's always variations right and sometimes these variations might be very large okay and sometimes they might just be not noticeable right so but that's why that's why we have the data for back testing okay so when you back test make sure that your data actually matches this right or it varies a very little bit okay not necessarily noticeable so guys if you have any questions you can actually reach out to us at support at we we'll be more than happy to reply you and help you probably with your installation so guys um i'll see you in the next video bye for now